Hey everybody, this is Travis giving you another tutorial. I gave one on this before, but I did with jQuery. I want to show a pure JS solution to this. It's basically animating the backgrounds. I'm going to go ahead and redo this so you can see what it looks like. You can do this horizontally, you can do this vertically, uh, do this any image, and we're going to go ahead and dive in. In fact, I have a preset to where it hits a certain part, stop. I think this one stops first, yeah. I'll set with this one. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and dive right in and show you exactly how we do that. Alright, first thing you want to do is you want to um, open up your favorite text editor. And I went and styled the background. I'm going to go ahead and put, put it in there. you got to put your div tag in there, background container. I went and styled it with a background image. Gave it some width and height, some border, uh, no repeat on the X, and margin right. And... I'm going to go ahead and save that. If I were to preview this, nothing will happen because I didn't do any JavaScript yet. But just to show you, it's going to have a picture uh, just like that. And obviously, the idea is I want to be able to scroll it up. Okay, so first thing I want to do is I want to open up some script tags. And I want to give this a function. Uh, I want to call this, you can call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it animate background. And I'm going to pass in two arguments. You don't have to do this, but I am. Element and speed. Var x equals 0. Var y equals 0. And it's basically a starting point. Now I can do what I was trying to do. Uh, Element.style, that background position. equals x plus I'm going to go px for pixels plus make sure you put a space on it, it's very important otherwise the whole thing won't even work y plus oops pixels and that's it and we're going to be reusing that uh, next thing I want to do is I want to open up a um, another uh, anomalous function in here. I'm going to call this var timer because it's going to be set to an interval. Set interval. Here's the anomalous function. Um, and inside the anomalous function I'm going to pass in my speed attribute or my speed argument I mean. So and in here is where we're going to pass in our speed. Okay. Now, in here, we're going to go ahead and repeat this. Let's just go ahead and copy it for save time. And that's it. And then we need to decrement y minus minus. Uh, and that's it. Now, that's basically it for the JavaScript. I just need to call the function now. Uh, you can do body onload. That'll work too. Or you can use a, a, an event listener. So I'm going to document dot add event listener, I hope I spelled that right, and first thing I'm going to listen for is DOM content loaded, uh, second thing is my um, function, which is the animate background function, and it accepts two arguments if you guys remember, so I need to do my document dot get element by ID, um, and I named it background container and this one and then this is the uh, speed that I need so in my case it would be uh, 20 I mean you can pick whatever and then this is going to be set to false and that's it and it should be able to fire off you get save this load it And sure enough, it does. Okay, have you noticed it's going from uh, up to down like that? Well, that's not exactly how you like. If you had a city thing like this, these skyscrapers, you you want to go from down to up. So you need to set some negative values in there. But I wanted to show you what the zero zero looked like first. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. The first thing I want to do is I want to start from the bottom, right? So since it's the y value is from the bottom, I'm going to set it to negative fourteen hundred. 
Um, and this number is dependent upon your picture size. I happen to have a very big picture. If it was smaller, I would set for smaller. So you just kind of have to judge the number here. If it don't work, just put a number in there, and eventually you're going to get it right. Um, and then for me, uh, well, let's do it. I'm going to save, and I'm going to reload this. And you notice it starts off from there. And that's because I need to um, I need to go up, up since I started from the bottom. Reload. Now there's going to be a problem eventually, though, because as this is going up, um, it's going to eventually go into the white space, um, which is going to be a problem. Which I'm going to go ahead and show you. I might fast forward this part. And the, and the way to stop it from the keep on going and going and going is to add an if statement in there and eventually it's going to go and go and go and as you can see it's got the white space here and we want to try to prevent that from happening right uh, it's basically the end of the picture so this is how you would do that you'd go to your uh, at the end of this right here and you would say if y equals I'm going to say negative 220 which is basically the top of the skyscraper uh, that's when I want to clear interval so I'm going to say clear interval and it's my timer which is up here if you remember okay so now if I hit save uh, in fact if you, I could probably speed this up a little bit but yeah, let's go 15 or something now if I hit save, um, it'll it'll make sure that it doesn't go up there and it'll stop just like I just stop on a dime like that. Uh, and if you want to do this is kind of a bad picture, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and put a different picture in here to show you how you would do a horizontal one as well. But basically it's gonna go up and it'll stop and boom it stops right there. So if you want to have a moving background, this is all you have to do for a vertical image. Uh, if you want to do a um, horizontal one, well, first of all, I need to change my picture because this would be a stupid one for horizontal. I think I named it Snow Scene. I think it's a JPEG. I hope it is. And for, uh, for this one, I'm going to set this one to a negative 50. And for this one, uh, x equals, and this is going to be x, by the way, x, uh, because we want it to go uh, horizontal, and this needs to be negative 600. And again, if you guys wonder where I got these numbers, I kept playing around with it. And this might going to work. Yeah, it is. Okay. Let me hit reload. And now I have this snow scene here. And it's going like like so. And it'll stop at a certain point. I think right where the road meets and the woods there. Okay, and boom, it stops. So if you guys are interested, this is the code. Copy it down. Uh, last time I showed you a jQuery solution, and I got it from a website. I'll see if I can post the link. Uh, but this is a pure JavaScript solution. And you always want to try to do pure JavaScript if you can, because it saves on memory, and plus it's better to kind of hone in on your skills. Also, I want to point out something. This document, this ad event listener here, this DOM content loaded. Um, I didn't have to do that. I could have just went body on load and put it in there as well. I could have just did on load and then you know put in my my function in there, which would be animate background. Put all this information in here and then, and then put that as well. And I could have done it that way. So it's really completely up to you. Um, there's a good article on DOM content loaded and on load, the difference between the two. Basically, uh, this one loads the fastest because it, it, it immediately the DOM loads, this fires off. Um, this sort of has to wait a little bit. It's not by a lot. We're talking milliseconds. Um, but anyways, that's it for this. One more time. Reload. As you can see, you have a nice little uh, image here that's going horizontal. And of course, I showed you the vertical one. So if you guys want to start using this for your websites, um, might as well go ahead, add a little thing to the eye, make it more appealing.
So with that, I'll see you later in the next tutorial. This is Travis signing off. Bye.